Morgan. How are you? I can't imagine how hard all of this is for you right now. Oh, please, don't be nice to me. I'm liable to cry all over you. Well, it is allowed, after everything you've been through. Thanks. See you. See ya. <sighs> he totally got the wrong idea. Thought Bray was coming on to him. No. You can see how it might confuse him. After Maya. Still talking about me? Why can't you all get past this? They've turned out nice. Hey. Uh, we're seeing Harry at, at 11, so we're just time for a cuppa. Oh, no thanks. I just can't wait for all this to be over. Would you mind uh, reading a poem? I love that one about stopping the clocks and giving a dog a bone. W.H. Jordan. No. It was off of our weddings. Uh, thanks, Tracy, but I honestly don't think I could. Right, so I'm the only one standing up there. I can't. <laughs> yeah, not only does she not want to speak, she also thinks no-one's going to come. Actually, what I said was, a lot of people might stay away for obvious reasons, so I don't want you getting your hopes up. I can't hear any more of this. We have to see Harriet on what? Espresso, when you're ready, please. Oh, I might join you in one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it was my fault. I shouldn't have snapped at you, and well, I should never have put you in that position with Nicola. She wasn't going to let it go. It was like being given the death roll by a crocodile. <laughs> I can imagine. You're going to have to tell her about Kim because she's going to find out sooner or later, isn't she? Yeah, but she still owns 1% of the company. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which I need to give me majority control over Kim. You know, once Nicola realises how valuable that share is... She's going to bump the price up. Yeah, and I'm not exactly flush with cash at the minute, so... Unless... Unless you make her see that siding with you over any business decision is not only in her best interest, but her electorate's too. Would you say I've got transferable skills for hospital management? Uh, a tad random and probably not no because you're actually an head teacher. A suspended head teacher. Who still might get a job back? You know, I'm not too sure. To be honest, not after yesterday's conversation with my colleague Jan. And she likes me. Well, what did she say? It's more what she didn't say. Oh, come on, don't be so defeatist. Marlon, the new term starts in less than two weeks and they still haven't called me in. You are good at what you do. They'd be mad to lose you. And how could you have known about Maya? They'll call. Lovely photo. Very handsome. So, have you decided who's saying what? Looks like I'll be doing everything. I'm sorry, I just know that I can't get up there. I remember at Robbie's I could barely speak. And I can't. Not in front of everyone. The thought just petrifies me. So there you go. What, not everyone can do things like this. Look, can we just... There's no pressure on any of you. So, Tracy, if you're... Fine doing the eulogy, then I'll handle the rest. Yeah, cos I've got a real burning ambition to read my own dad's eulogy. I mean, it's right up there on my wish list. Anyway, no one's gonna come according to her, so... Will you just drop it, please? The important people will be there, and that's what matters. Now, the undertaker's wrong. Today's the last day, if any of you want to see him. I can't do this. Well, I think we can safely say that he's one happy little girl. What about you? You've hardly said two words. I think we can say he's one happy little girl too. <laughs> oh, come on, admit it. You loved it. It wasn't quite as jolly hockey sticks as I imagined, I guess. I think that's probably the best you're going to get out of him. I'll take it. And you are going to look adorable in that school uniform. Which is all on me, I insist. 
Fine. Fine. Things went well at the school, I take it. Thanks, thanks. Things couldn't have gone any better. So, how about I capitalise on your good mood and we take the rest of the day off? I'm already ahead of you. Great. I've booked us a table at your favourite restaurant. Surprise. Ah, sorry. I've agreed to take Jamie, Andrea and Millie to lunch. Family affair, otherwise you could have tagged along. Oh. And don't look like that. You know I hate surprises. You must have some idea who the investor is. I mean, don't you and Jay talk about anything important? Not work, if we can help it. If you want to know, ask Jay. I'm just... The monkey, he's the organ grinder. I was going to say his girlfriend, actually. Oh, no, you don't call yourself a girlfriend. Not at our age, not unless you're Benice. He's in the cafe, so, you know. Let's go. Hey, Tress. Hi. Uh, I just need to know if you're all coming to my dad's funeral tomorrow. Just catering purposes. Yeah, we're coming, aren't we? Yeah, of course we will. Oh, I, um, I, I can't. I've, I've got an interview at the job centre. I'm so sorry. Are you all right, Dres? Can we, um, yeah. can we do anything? Just be there. She will bite your hand off. As long as there's some community payback, I can't see it being a problem. Oh, well, charity is nothing if not community-minded. <laughs> she can't go on trading outside. She's been spitting feathers ever since Brenda set herself up. Hey, babe, you're right. I just got your message. Where's Tracy? Oh, we've had words. All right, so she's left you to sort the funeral out, has she? It's fine. She got upset then. Megan got upset. Thankfully, Harriet's been ace. And I'm about to get a whole lot acer. <laughs> if that's a word. I think it's a word. It actually is. Oh, okay, sure. Go on. Did you know this humble village hall has got its very own liquor licence? No, I didn't know that. Oh, hang on. Please don't tell me the church is now setting up a business against me as well as the cafe. As if. But you're more than welcome to use it till the pub's back in business. Are you for real? Is this a wind-up? No, she looks like she's winding you up. Like, it was my idea. We can have my dad's work here as well. If it's in the interest of the community, so there really is an actual god. There certainly is. There's also a smart-thinking fiancé, in case you hadn't noticed. I had so noticed. We're back in business, kid. <laughs> yes. Hi. I'm sorry it all got a bit much in church. Emotions are all over the place. I've been to enough funerals to know what they do to you. It's just all that stuff about people not coming. People being angry at him, it just... just got to me a bit. I'll get you a drink. No, I'm all right, thanks. None of it really matters, though, does it? I mean, as long as us lot are there. People, they love him. And I know you really loved him, Megan. Like I did. What fool was I? What do you mean by that? Oh, no, God. No, please, don't tell me that you think he's guilty, too. <gasps> Tracy, look, what you have to remember is I really loved your dad. <gasps> and yet you, you're bagging up his stuff already. Chucking him out, abandoning him like everyone else. Tracy. How could you, Megan? He loved you. He loves you so much. Oh, my God. Right. Start talking. Well, I'm awful up in here. Oh, OK, I'll talk. Laura said you have an investor lined up. Now, I know I've only 1% of the shares, but do you not think I need to know? Have you swallowed? It's Kim. Kim? It's on a need-to-know basis. Oh, don't mind me. I'm too tired for gossip. Kim, who sacked me? 
Well, I thought you'd said no to her. No wonder Laurel kept it quiet. We had no choice. Oh, like hell. So, are our jobs still safe? That might all depend on you. Me? As it stands, myself and Kim each own 49.5% of the business. Oh. So, um, that little bone you threw me to shut me up means you don't have any actual overall control. Correct. <laughs> oh, interesting, isn't it? How things turn out. I'm sorry I haven't got anything stronger. Drunk the place dry. It's my last chance to see him today. Before. I was desperate to last time, but now I just... I just don't know. What do you think you're gonna get by going? Proof? That this all actually happened? That he's really gone, I suppose? He's really gone, Tracy. <laughs> and, you know, seeing someone you love Lying there, so still, with no life in them. <laughs> Robbie. <laughs> Especially when that person was so full of life. It's such a, a cold and lonely place to be, that's all I'm saying. And you can't unsee it, it keeps coming back. But if you think it'll help, You know, I, I think I want to remember him how he was. My gorgeous, funny dad. Gorgeous and, and infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> he did love you, though, Megan. Not enough. Or else why would he have gone back to his old ways? He swore that like, he was over with all that. He... I didn't want to risk our happiness. So don't believe it then. I can't kid myself. He was acting strange for days and when I questioned him, he was really cagey. <sighs> so... If it is true... and he's done what you and... Vanessa and everyone else think... I can't see another explanation, can you? Hey, you caught me in one of my other guises. What? Secret gardener. Although, don't tell Layla. She'll only make fun of me or buy me some really unattractive gloves for Christmas. Hey, gardening's cool again. It's not just for old people like you. <laughs> Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> You're welcome. So, how are you today? Feeling a bit stupid, if I'm honest. Please don't say that it wasn't my fault for thinking you were coming on to me. But you do know it wasn't. Well, it was just a misunderstanding. Nothing more. So, can we hug it out like we used to? Don't look so sour, Graham. You'll find ways to entertain yourself. Horses are doing much better. I'll stop the nebulizers because things are so good. Tell Graham he'll sign off. I'm busy. Well, that wasn't rude at all, was it? Hmm. I'll go and get the paperwork. You. I'd have put more money on it being Jamie. Bit sexist. Hmm. He taught you to play chess. Oh, my Uncle Bill. Terrible with kids. Great with games. Mm, you're pretty good. Wish I could say the same for you, 007, cos that is checkmate. <clears throat> That's marginally less than being beaten by Joe. Ah, oh, that's Joe Pride, eh? Right, I'll return these tomorrow. See you then. Oh! Why don't you, um, set it up again? Best of three, yeah?
Have you brought enough booze? Oh, people always get leather at funerals, don't they? Could make a killing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's fine. I wouldn't count on making a fortune, though. Not with the amount of people coming. Babe, if there's drink, they will come. <laughs> you know, the wake party could even double up as a launch party. I mean, I can't wait to see the look on Brenda's face without one. Oh, no, I've done it again, haven't I? I'm so sorry. Why do I always do this? Of course it's who you are and you're excited to have a pub again. I'm sorry. So, listen, are you sure you're OK? Yeah, I will be, once I've sorted things out with Tracy. If there's anything else you need me to do, uh, one job only, turn up. I'll see you later. Right, I'm thinking, start by arranging the tables and chairs and I'll get us a dark wood from somewhere. You know this offer comes with ready-made bar staff. What? Dawn, she needs a job. Fine. <coughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh. Bacon, it's the grill's fault. You know how sensitive it is. Well, you best apologise to it, <coughs> don't you? I'm here to me for making my entire house smell like a smoking den. Do you mind? <coughs> I was on the phone. Sorry, sorry. Was that the school? Yeah, only I called there. Oh. I resigned, Marlon. Look, I had to... I had to get some control back. All this waiting around for them to make a decision. It sent me crazy. It... it wow. It is crazy, because what if it had gone your way? Yeah, but it wasn't looking likely. After everything that's happened and the school getting poor results yesterday, the writing was on the wall. Only you don't know I that. I do! Look, I had to get my life back. Jump if I was pushed. This is insane. I mean, they were still paying you, Jesse. Is that all this comes down to? What? No, but we can't live on fresh air. Yeah, but what about my self-esteem? We can't live on that either! Marlon! Look, if I'd have waited for them to have sacked me, it would have looked bad on a future job. I mean, they didn't even ask me to, to, to work my notice. That just goes to show what they think about me. Look, I'm sorry, yeah? And I'm... I'm devastated about losing my job, but God, I had to, I had to do what was right for me. Right for you, but without discussing it with me first. I'm your husband, Jesse. I'm not just a housemate. This is spotless. Mm. Sorry to make it look nice. One less thing to worry about, eh? Oh, I never worry about cleaning. Sorry. Me too. We need to be united tomorrow. Some of Dad's stuff from Megan. This jacket. He thought he looked so cool. <laughs> Talk about the fawns. <laughs> what if. What if he actually did it for us? Oh, Tracy. <laughs> and, and for what? I mean. <laughs> we can't have meant anything to him even if he's losing it all for prison. <laughs> I'm so naive. It's not your fault. No, it's not. It's because you loved him and he was just destructive. <sighs> oh, wow. What? I'll leave you both. <clears throat> Hang on. What's this? An engagement ring. Look at the day. Look at the day, Vanessa. He built it the day of the fire.
miss you. Megan said Dad promised he would never risk their happiness ever again. So he lied then? No, he didn't. This proves how much he loved her. He didn't risk anything. He was planning to marry her. Tracy, it still doesn't prove he's innocent. Hang on, Kerry. Wasn't there a ring found at the factory? Why don't you think that it's this one? But it still doesn't prove anything. And what about the missing money? Which was never found on him! But what if he had robbed the safe to pay for it? And what if he didn't? He was making plans, Vanessa. They pinned it on him because of his past, but he didn't do it. I know this now, with everything I've got. I was meant to find this receipt. My dad is innocent, which means someone else is guilty. There's brand new drama starting this week weekend on ITV, the unfinished novel by Jane Austen. We take you to a seaside town on the cusp of dramatic change. Sanditon begins Sunday at 9. And we're off to California tonight at 9 with Murta and Cole investigating the robbery of a truck filled with fine art and new lethal weapon. Next, Corey.